Hi, welcome to Cleanse Week. We're going to talk about fasting today. Now, I love fasting. It's one of my most favorite things to do because the results is incredible. Why fast? The reason why we fast is that we stop eating. We stop eating so that we, our bodies can focus not on digesting, but on healing and repairing. It is the most beautiful, simple, significant thing you will ever do. It's the most incredible thing. I was one of those people who said, I can't even skip a meal. There's no way I could fast. And yet, I've done it time and time again for weeks and weeks on end. You can do this as well. So why fast? We are the only species that continue to eat when we're sick. It's crazy that we do that. You know, even dogs will eat grass just to be able to bring up and stop eating for a period of time. And yet when we're sick, we just try and shove food down people's throats thinking that you're gonna lose your strength. And yet fasting actually means to make strong. It's not about being weak. It actually makes your body stronger because it can go back into what it's supposed to do. I'm getting too excited here. Hippocrates says, everyone has a physician inside of him and her. It's our greatest force. Our food should be our medicine. Our medicine should be our food. But to eat when you're sick is to feed your sickness. So that's the first type of fasting. Stop fasting when you get sick. You will recover so much better and quicker. The second type of fasting is intermittent fasting. So I do this time and time again. It's just such an invigorating, especially in a busy season. You stop eating for at least 12 hours. Okay, so for me, it would be I stop eating around the five, six o'clock at night time and then um, won't eat again till about 10 o'clock the next morning. So I like to go extra long, I find that even more invigorating. And then I kind of can eat whatever I want in that period of time and it doesn't have much effect there because the fasting period is just, it not only uh, digests better, you eliminate better, you have more energy, because you're not bogged down by food. It's the most incredible experience. Another way of fasting is doing the five and two diet. Now, I have seen some people abuse this diet where they can eat whatever they want, so they literally do, like, you know, whatever horrible food that they can find, and then they stop eating. It's kind of giving your body a bit of uh, whiplash there. So if you're gonna do this, continue to eat well. You can eat in big amounts, but eat well and stop eating. Eat well, stop eating. Uh, it might be a bit hard as far as sustainability goes, but again, your body needs time to rest. So you need to plan on fasting, whether it is stop eating for days or weeks on end, or it's stopping for 12 hours every night, or if it is stopping one or two days every week, your body needs the break. We actually do overeat. It's the most incredible thing ever. Even if you don't feel like you do, you do. Okay, uh, other kind of fasting is what I call a quick restart fasting. So it's usually about a uh, three to five days. Stop eating, continue life, you feel amazing. Now, for people like me, you that can't go up the mountain for 40 days like Jesus, but I have to continue normal life. I have to keep cooking. I have to keep shopping. I have to keep preparing food. And it's really hard to fast when you've got to be around food the whole time. But it is possible. My little trick is that I generally do a water fast, but I also drink herbal teas and I also um, do bone broth because that is enough to cement my stomach to go, it's okay, don't cave. There's enough nutrients and vitamins and minerals in that to actually keep you going. And if you're finding really hard and you just, because your, your, your mind plays tricks on you, it's a psychological game, and you're like, I have to just chew on something, grab a handful of nuts, chew it till it's like liquid in your mouth and then swallow it and that will get you through. Even if you have to do that every day, that will help, but it also might tell your body that you're still eating and it might trick it a little bit and then the, the cravings and the starvation thing will kick in a bit more. So if you can, try and eliminate all foods. Another uh, type of fasting is your juice fasting or juiced feasting, where you just make up big batches of vegetable juice and um, fruit juices and you just, it's a good way of like hitting your system hard with nutrients as well as fasting from food. And so it's not going through that same digestion process, process but be careful not to go too uh, hard on the fruits because again, insulin spikes and whatever and could be wreaking a bit of havoc in your body as well as the lack of fiber there. So, but juice, Juice fast have healed people of cancers. Okay, fasting has. Oh, you should hear the stories of people who have healed themselves of amazing chronic end of life kind of conditions through fasting because your body is, that's what it's striving for. Everything in your body wants to be healthy and strong and it can do it if you just give it the break to do so. Fantastic. The other kind of fasting is your 14 to 21 days. This is like a bit more serious. Your body actually goes into healing on day 10. Day 10 to day 
14 is a healing cycle that happens, another one that happens after the 21 days, because your body's made up of cycles. So what you find is the first five days, uh, four days, sorry, you'll starve it. You're like, oh, I'm gonna kill someone, I'm so hungry kind of thing. And then day five, you wake up and you're like, actually, my hunger's gone. And then day nine, you kind of get that hunger back again. You're like, oh my gosh. And then day 10, you're fine again. It's the most incredible thing. We all go through the same cycles when we go through it. And there's, um, and then obviously there's the sixth one, which is the 40 days. This is like heavy duty, Hippocrates, Plato, Jesus, Moses kind of fasting things. Um, I haven't done 40 days myself, but I'm aiming to do it January next year if you want to join me. Um, the most I've done is 21 days, um, which suits in well, obviously, with my lifestyle. And I like to do that twice a year and then uh, do cleanses at the beginning of every new season. For you, you might be different, but I strongly encourage you to actually look into doing a fast. Even if you don't think you can do it, I reckon you can because I want you to receive the amazing health abilities uh, from it. So. Um, Give it a go.